you know, it's interesting because actually something you said kind of reminded me of a story from like, I'm like, I'm not kidding you. I think it was maybe 20 years ago, even um, Ricky and I were invited by a ministry person to um, come to another state and, and start a ministry. And we we're like, you know what? We'll consider it. We were like praying about it. We went there. Um, I had the I, I mean, to talk about like stopping and checking, what am I feeling? I just right away, I got into the space and I was like, this is not for us, but we're going to, we're going to move forward. But I don't want to give them this false hope. Like, yeah, we love it here. So I was just very, you know, chill about the whole situation. And they're like, oh, we need to get together with these people so you guys can get together and worship. And I was like, you know, let's just pause on that. Let's just, so we were there for like the weekend. They had us buying a house and we're like, we were just coming to pray. And wow. I don't think we were not, I don't know if we were rude. I don't think we were, but we got this letter that was ripping us a new and improved insult like you've never heard before in your life. And it just went on and on. And you guys are this and you, and, and we kind of got the letter and everything in both of us were like, how dare you? We went to a, uh, one of our mentors. His name was Carl Schieffer. And he looked at us and said, this is how I want you to respond. Thank you so much for your insight. God bless you. And send the let send the reply back. We actually put a letter in there. Thank you so much for, you know, your, um, your insight. God bless you. And, and the ministry God's called you to. Oh. And it, because everything in us wanted to defend, like, we didn't do that. We didn't say that. We didn't. Be, be. And it was this, this wisdom mm -hmm. from heaven, like you said, Cynthia, where it diffuses. Because who wants to, to battle back? I don't want to battle. We have kingdom work to do. Right. So it kind of just, it set actually a course for us in ministry wow. like 20 years ago. And we haven't always done it right. But I remember one time I just thought, you know what? I'm worshiping and I'm just doing a great job of leading this song. It's just like, woohoo, get into the heart of people. This was years ago. And the pastor came to me and pulled the song. He's like, that's the most boring song in the whole entire world. I was like, what are you talking about? People are feeling God's presence. Like, what? What? And he pulled it. And, you know, even though I didn't agree and I, just, I, I didn't agree, but I was like, you know what? It, this is, I don't need to fight about this. Like, I don't need to like, this is what needs to happen. I was like, you got it. We'll make an adjustment. It was hard for me to swallow because I really felt like there was a theme and we were moving somewhere because we had like, you know, all these services. But it, I had to mm -hmm. kind of just humble myself. Yeah. I, I really did. And it didn't. Like I've made so many mistakes in the area of like getting really offended mm. and feeling really rejected. And it's been, it's been, I'm, I'm not going to lie. I have, I, it has been hard on, on my ego, but I, I've, I've been learning to kill that ego and realizing too, that, you know, life doesn't happen to me. It happens for me. Right. Mm. So I, all these things, are happening for me, you know, whether God wants me to have that empathy when someone else is going through it. So I don't ever make somebody feel like I felt like it's happening because maybe God's trusting me to be that person that can step in and be gracious because I've been through it, you know? So, uh, you know, I, I have been embarrassed and I have had a heart, but I'm, I'm learning that the, that the Lord is telling me, no, but who doesn't love to be around people that are teachable? Mm. Who wants to be around a know-it-all all the time? Right. That's not, nobody really wants that. And that's what you were talking about earlier, Cynthia, and one of the other, you know, one of the five is like, you kind of, when you're like that, you really do, people just scoot out of your life because it's just not fun to be around. So being able to take correction with like, like, I do want to think about that. And also, like you said, Christine, it's like sometimes they're not, it's not, no, nope, I'm not, it doesn't feel like in line here, but I am going to thank you for your feedback. Thank mm -hmm. you for sharing that with me. And often it's just not about you. It's right. just about what they're going through. 
And right. I know oh, yeah, right. true. that's so Just about what they're going through. You know what? That's so good, Nova. And it's convicting. It's convicting because my response to Roger should probably be, I'm not angry, but if you process that as if I was yelling or angry, I'll take it under advisement and think about it. You know, like it's going that extra step when you feel that you're right or you're in an emotion because you feel that you're right. I think actually love would prob love would step back and kind of go right or wrong, whatever this correction or this rebuke or this discipline is about, I'm going to love enough to not react and to mm -hmm. actually sit with this and seek the Lord's response and reply before I say anything. You know, too, like when I think about when Ricky and I have been in conflict mm -hmm. and he's had a really harsh tone, which I can be harsh too, but he's more of like a, ah, like he's a preacher. Like he, he just says stuff, right? And sometimes I'll just say, honey, if your tone, just like it's your tone. And he's like, what are you talking about my tone? I'm just telling you the way it is. I'm like, yeah, I, I, but I have to be honest with you as much as you're being honest with me. And like, that's the place where it, even when my tone has been wrong, I will say to him, you re probably received that because I came across so rude and I, my intention is not to hurt you or offend you or be rude to you. Cause I know that who I, I know you can't receive my love that way. So, you know what? I'm going to make the correction. I'm going to wash my tone. And you know what? Would you please like, just let's just have a word like, like tone or whatever. And so that I become aware because sometimes mm -hmm. maybe I'm not aware, maybe I'm not aware. And if you receive love differently than, than the way I receive it, then I, if I'm really going to be a servant and bless your, your life, then I'm going to look not to my interest, but to yours. And it's like that, it's that dance in marriage and in mm -hmm. life, like looking, like being a student of other people, not seeing your needs met all the time, but like being a student and being self-aware in this world, you know, mm -hmm. with the people that are in our world. So I don't sure. want to digress, but yeah. No, that's so good. Mic drop.